So when we think about science, we often picture math equations, scientists in white coats, and fancy chemistry experiments. And that's accurate because science does include all these things, but let's dig a bit deeper and get to the heart of scientific knowledge and progress. So what's in the beginning? It's pretty simple. Imagination and determination. It's people's determination and creative thinking that creates scientific progress. Think about it for a moment. Every big discovery or a new idea has imagination as its first step. Imagination is like the spark that pushes us beyond what we already know into new, unexplored places and makes us think. Consider the stories of famous scientists and the cool things we have today because of science. They all started with imagining something new. It's the exact moment of asking what if that starts this amazing journey to important discoveries. So imagination is like the superpower that helps us make fun and new advancements. To understand this better, let's not go far and think about anything that you own your favorite gadgets, the technology you use daily, or to make it more scientific, think about all the medicine we take in order to keep ourselves healthy. Behind each of these, there is a story of someone's dreams and possibilities. The smartphone in your pocket, it's not just a device, but it's a statement or an expression of someone who thought of a world where communication would be at our fingertips or the medicine that saved lives. They were created by scientists who envisioned a future where different diseases and illnesses could be treated and cured. Imagination has been a driving force throughout numerous of scientific advancements, and today I would like to talk about some of them. So, in the realm of physics, Richard Feynman's out-of-the-box thinking and imaginative approaches made a huge impact in quantum mechanics. His diagrams, now known as Feynman diagrams, offered new tools and perspectives of understanding particle interactions, earning him a Nobel Prize. Moreover, the field of astronomy has seen imaginative leaps, such as Edwin Hubble's realization that distant galaxies were moving away, leading to the formulation of the expanding universe theory. Consider the imaginative work of Barbara McClinton in genetics. Her ability to visualize the dynamic nature of genetic elements earned her a Nobel Prize and transformed our understanding of how genes operate. In the realm of robotics and artificial intelligence, Ronnie Brooks, with his innovative approach inspired by nature, envisioned robots that could learn and adapt from their environment. His work led to the development of bio-inspired robots capable of simple behaviors. Imagination is important, not only in science, but in every aspect of our lives. It's the force that turns an ordinary cardboard box into a spaceship, a stick into a sword, or a plain field into a kingdom. In every problem we face, from personal dilemmas to global challenges, imagination is the key to finding innovative solutions. Adults usually like to talk about their childhoods, those sweet old years when they were careless and had no problems whatsoever. They usually say how fun these years were for them and how they wish to go back in time and be a child again. Well, at first, I never really thought about these kind of conversations, maybe because it didn't really appeal to me that much since, you know, everybody used to say the same things. But now that I think about it, I might know why so many grown-ups want to be kids again, and it's so simple. Their imagination is gone. Now they have to worry about other things, such as their careers, jobs, families, children, education, and etc. Nobody actually has the time to sit, think, relax, enjoy, live in the moment, and fuel their creativity. But once people start to realize that imagination is actually way more important, they will see changes in their lives which will become more fun and eventful than before. We don't give enough credit to imagination, but it's actually so important to us. To get back to our original subject, everything starts with a little bit of faith, dreams, and creativity. 
Science isn't just about remembering facts or equations. It's a constantly changing adventure where imagination acts like a compass, helping us ask new questions and look for solutions that may seem impossible to find. Every thesis begins with a question. Every discovery begins with curiosity, and every innovation begins with imagination. Let's not only appreciate the formulas and experiments in science, but also celebrate our dreams and possibilities. Embrace your imagination as it might hold the key to future progress in any field. Us humans are very different from each other, starting from the way we look to the way we act. But there are some things that we all have in common, and it's the ability to think, turn our thoughts into reality, and imagine. Imagination is a precious gift which we were given for a reason. So why not use it? Thank you.